Hi guys, alright, Dave here once again. Alright, so this is going to be the part number two of your training material. I'm going to go ahead and talk about your script. So that we call it the compliance script. Okay, so the script basically is divided into six parts. The first part is the opening and establishing funding needs. Second is the pre-qualification. Uh, the third part is the dis disclosure. Fourth part is appointment setting. Fifth part is recap. And then if necessary, there's a sixth part. Uh, part number six, go to, uh, we call it the go to script. Okay, let's start with part number one, opening and establishing funding needs. All right, so the the way we form we format our business is yes we do have an in-house loan we could uh, uh, shell out funds to to the business directly so in-house loan we are directly providing some someone uh, the loan however we also do have uh, we do the second format of the business we sell leads to to other companies like other lending companies so we do the call out we pre-qualify someone and if someone is qualified we provide their information to a different lender and we get paid for doing so now um we have two ways of how we could uh do the opening the first part is hi this is david um f sorry first off you're gonna look for the obviously you're gonna look for let's say hi i'm looking for john smith hi john this is david from ec financing and i wanted to give you a call because you've inquired about a business loan and I wanted to see if you were able to get all the money that you needed for your business. Or you may want to say, hi, this is David from EC Financing. And I wanted to give you a call because of because few of our lenders are interested in speaking with you. And I wanted to uh, and wants to give you an offer. Are you still in need of funds? Okay. If they say no, you don't have to dwell much. You just have to move on in the call. All right. Because uh, we don't want to force them to get a loan. We want to make sure that the people you'd be speaking with are very much interested in getting a loan. Okay. Now, if they say yes, great. That's actually why I'm calling you today. Uh, then we proceed to part number two, which is the pre-qualification. Part number two is going to be the most lengthy and integral part of the call. Now, before I go ahead and talk about pre-qualification, uh, I assume at this point I have sent you the checklist. So the checklist basically are all the questions that are necessary for you to ask um, in the call. Now, this one is kind of like a, a simplified form of part number two, which is the pre-qualification. Um, a lot of agents have printed this out or have posted it somewhere, uh, you know, a notepad or sticky note. Uh, this is very essential for you to be open every time you're doing a call so that we can make sure that you don't miss out any question because one question missed you'd have to call back the prospect and ask again ask again for it to qualify as their sale okay so all right going back to part number two pre-qualification okay question number one how much money do you need now this question uh basically you'd have to ask this one and uh i'm sorry i'm just checking something okay you have to all right, question number one. I'm sorry, that the, the, the line kind of got cut. Okay. Question number one is how much money do you need? The amount should be coming from the prospect. Because some agents are kind of uh, very assumptive. Like, how much money do you need? Do you need $50,000? No. You should be silent. Wait for for their answer. That's one way of gauging if they really need the money. The mo They should have an idea of, like a figure exact figure of how much they need so the amount should be coming from the prospect no brainer no explanation needed okay question number two why do you need the money um, basically this is the money question this is where i'd want you all to focus on because this is where we will gauge if they really need the money again this is the money question this is where uh, again based uh, or gauge if the borrower is really interested uh, this should be asked in an open-ended manner. Um, if you get, um, some agents are actually doing, why do you need the money? Is this for business expansion or is this for equipment? No, you should have them uh, answer that part. And then the moment they say, uh, if they answer like a very, very vague uh, 
in, in a very vague manner, let's say I'm, I'm doing it for business expansion, you may want to ask, oh, wow, can you tell me more about it? Uh, so that they can really open up. We have to tailor fit and tri trim down the question, probe more so that we can, exa uh, we can know exactly why they need the funds. And that way we could gauge how motivated they are. We can, uh, if someone says they need equipment, they need the funds for equipment, then ask, oh, wow, what equipments would you be purchasing? How many will you be buying? Somewhat like that. Ask logical questions. Okay. Next, question number three. How long have you been the business owner? How long have you been the business owner? Oh, no brainer about that question. Uh, next question. Uh, follow up question number three. What is the name of your business? This should be coming from them. A lot of times, okay, sometimes actually, in the lead that I'll be giving you out, there's there's a included on inclusive on, on, on the owner's information is the company name. But sometimes the company name written there is not updated. So we may want to ask that as well. Follow up question number three. We want to make sure that the act the business is still active. Okay. So you may want to ask, I want to make sure th that this business is still active, right? Okay, great. Now question number four. Do you have an active business bank account? All right. Do you have an active business bank account? This is very, very important. They should have an active business bank account. It says here, if they don't have, we go straight to question number five. I'll, I'll tell that more in details later on. One qualification for, for a borrower to get funded, to get the loan, is they have to have a business bank account. Now, follow-up question number six. Um, I'm sorry, follow-up question in number four. Uh, have you been depositing money into that account over the last four months? They, it should say, they should say yes, because if not, you go to number five. All right. Follow-up question number four. What is your average monthly deposit? They should deposit average monthly at least ten thousand dollars because if not you proceed to question number five why are we always pertaining to question number five because if they if they do not have a business bank account we consider credit score if they do not deposit on their business bank account say they have one if they don't deposit over the last four months we consider credit score. If they don't deposit at least $10,000, we consider their credit score. We have two qualifications. One is their business bank account. Second is their credit score. Now, um, their credit score should be at least 650. I'll go in details later on. But going back to follow-up question uh, number four, what is your monthly average deposit? If they say that their deposit is about twenty to thirty thousand dollar, you have to get the average. So twenty to thirty thousand, their average is about twenty five thousand. That's what you will be writing on the congratulation template, which I will be discussing later on. All right. Next question number five: What is your credit score? It should be at least six fifty. Okay. The way we want to ask it is: What is your credit score? If they don't know, the follow up question is. What do you think is the range? Do you have like a range of what your credit score is? If they don't know, we could not submit a lead. If they fell short on credit score and it's not at 650, we could not submit a lead. But if their deposit is above $10,000, we still can submit. I'm saying if they do not qualify for the business bank account and they fell short on the credit score, they are not qualified to get a business loan, all right? One way of asking the credit score is, um, the last time you check, what is your credit score? What is your maximum credit score? You may wanna ask it that way. All right, next. Question number six. Do you need the money right away? They should answer yes to that. 
because because if they don't we could not submit a lead if they do not need the money right away ask like a time frame how soon do you need the funds um if if they say like within the next couple of weeks we can we can still consider that as right away if they say within the last uh, the next 30 days we can submit it but uh further than that we cannot but if they say they're not in need of the funds right away the follow up question is how soon do you need the funds okay question number 7 do you have any equity or property it could be any real estate property okay this is just a compliant question this this is not a qualifier okay the only qualifier by the way is a credit score and their deposit okay so for question number seven do you have any equity or property any again it should it could be any real estate property it could be a land a building a residential property any any real estate um if they say no that's fine if they say yes we want to ask has it been at least 50 percent paid off if they ask why are you asking well we just want to know so that we could make sure that we get you the best loan possible all right um note those questions should be asked separately all right question number eight do you have any existing loan all right if they say yes how many are your loans and how much we ask that um that's a no-brainer question uh very self-explanatory okay question number nine are you already working with a lender or a bank if they say yes will you, would you be willing to listen to another offer because sometimes um, borrowers may be dealing with someone already they have been approved and they're just waiting for the final underwriting they're just waiting for the funds to come in but they're still open to offers okay if they are working with a lender or bank then we ask if they're willing to listen to another offer. Follow up question number nine. Have you had difficulty getting approved within the last 30 days? This is very important that you ask that because uh, some buyers are very much interested for people who's having difficulty in getting approved. Okay. Next, follow up question number nine. I just want to make sure that you have not been funded yet, right? You have not been funded, right? Okay, so we just want to make sure because sometimes they kind of keep answering her questions, but, you know, they already have the funds. We just want to, for documentation purposes, we want that to be captured on the recording. Question number 10. Uh, another just for documentation purposes. You are not dealing with bankruptcy as of the moment, right? They should not. If they've dealt with bankruptcy back then, that's fine. We can still submit. But current bankruptcy, we cannot. Okay? And from this point on, I'm going to uh, cut this video and I'll continue with part number three on the second video that I'll be creating. Thanks so much.